Hello, welcome to the channel. So this is just going to be a general message. So definitely take what you resonate with, leave the rest, and do not force the message to fit if you feel like that the message is not for you. So I seem to be picking up that there is definitely a person that seems to be thinking about you constantly. This person is like very fixated on your energy, feeling very attached to you spiritually. Now, it does look like that this person seems to want your presence in their life. They're definitely craving your energy. But instead of them actually seeking out time with you or seeking out your energy, this person is like looking for your energy in other people. So they're definitely searching for other people that are on the same frequency as you, that actually offer the same energy that you've got. Because this person, like, they're very infatuated with the type of frequency that you seem to be on. Because you've definitely got this very, like, strong aura. You're someone that radiates very pure and innocent type of energy. Very dynamic, very creative. People seem to be very well aware of the fact that, you know, there is just something very special about your energy, very special about your vibration. And I feel like this is something that these people or this person has come to terms with. Some of these people actually do carry a lot to love for you. Some of them are actually in love with you. But they can also say that you've detached from anything that does not serve your greater good. So if something's not serving, you know, like your direction, what you, like the direction that you need to go into, then you definitely detach very quickly here. But there's some heavy emphasis here on them actually searching for people that can actually imitate your energy, offer them what you offer them. And this is due to the fact that they actually want your presence. We've got material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, so they crave lock your spirit. But I feel like that you've definitely learned to protect your spirit because, you know, like this type of aura that you've got, people seem to sense that out. People do like become attached to the fact that you have got this strong aura, that your energy is very innocent, very pure, that you are like very intuitive because we've got your intuition is very powerful. Don't reject it. Yeah, like, there is this just very creative energy to you. And if not that, then there's just something that stands out. If you do stand out, there is something, like, very unique, very special about your energy. But the person that's coming through here cannot see past this connection. They do think about you all the time. And this is very difficult for them to let go of. This could actually be an earth sign. And if not, then you could actually be an earth sign. But yeah, it looks like they want to communicate with you. I feel like this person's actually been going through some challenges. And they can see that you're like a little bit resistant here of their energy. But they can also sense that... Or like maybe it's you that's resistant of this person's energy. But they can say that you've got this very strong sense of self, this ability to face challenges. You've got a lot of determination and also like this massive light. So that just confirms that, you know, your spiritual self is very addicting. People definitely crave the type of vibration that you're on.
But there is somebody here that feels like that you're a true love. There is definitely a high level connection here. Some kind of soulmate. And they do like see you as inspiration. They see you as very inspirational. You might have made some adjustments here. You might have cut some people out. You might have cut this person off. Disconnected. Yeah, but you are like very successful. This person can see that you're very accomplished, very successful. Somebody's like got prosperity here. But also an energy that's very generous. Okay, so like you're not snobby, you're not selfish, you're not self centered. You are like very genuine, like genuine. You're very genuine. You're very generous. Yeah, so like that was a mouthful. So this person finds it very difficult to speak to you. Because it's like that took me a lot to get out. It's almost like this person cannot, they actually can't express what they think of you. But I feel like that they want to tell you. Because I actually started to stutter. I found it really difficult to like get that out. And that's an easy word. Like I can say generous. Okay, but yeah, like they feel like that you're very generous. Very genuine. Very authentic. It's like there's no capping. What you say is what you get. This person knows that. Like when they're dealing with you. They're dealing with somebody that's real. Lock you straight up. Now, it does also look like, too, that there is somebody here that's, like, competing for your energy. Or there's somebody that's, like, trying to compete with this person. They're, like, causing conflicts here. Because there is some deception and envy here. So some people are very envious of this connection, of this partnership, this commitment. Because somebody wants reconciliation with you. And people can actually see that this person wants reconciliation. That they want to commit to you or create some kind of relationship here. And this is creating a lot of envy here. Because, like, once again, you've got this very intuitive, very open-hearted type of energy. Very sensitive. And this is the truth. This, like, you might have actually put this person, you know, through, like, spiritual awakening. Because you seem to affect this person's heart chakra. And I'm also picking up too that, yes, we've got generosity against, so you are very generous. But you actually do connect with this people, like this person or these people actually did go to say, like on a spiritual level here. And some people try to control this connection. Yeah, but you are like very intellectual, very determined. Very motivated. We've got air energy. So there's actually like lots of air energy. Fire energy. And also earth energy. But yeah, like this is the truth. So this like, this is confirmation that this is the truth for somebody. Success, rec recognition. So they do feel like that you recognize. Or they're like recognizing your accomplishments. Or they can see that you're very accomplished. You are very successful. But yeah, like this person cannot get you off of their mind. They think about you all the time. They think about the fact that you actually are like will wish fulfillment to you. But they can say that you like, you stand your ground. 
you've got like a lot of self-worth, a lot of self-respect. You won't tolerate certain things. And this just goes back into the fact that they can see that you're very innocent, very pure, that you will protect your spirit. Alright, so we've got strong water energy here too. Yeah, so this person is very content in your energy. They might actually feel like that you're a bit psychic here with the Queen of Water. So you are like a very trustworthy person, very understanding. And you've got a lot of protection here. Protection, preparedness. And last part is resilience. So you are very resilient, very strong-minded, very independent, self-efficient. And you've got like a guardian angel that is protecting you. And I've just, I've just seen like 11, 17. So triple one. Alright, so we've got wisdom, patience and planning, foundation and achievement, planning, partnering, progress, justice, overanalyzing, leadership, emperor, structure, authority, the emperor card again. So you might actually be stepping into some type of emperor energy here. Okay, but this person can see that, like, you are stepping into a strong energy here. Stepping into a leadership position. Or you're, like, claiming this. And I'm actually doing too, like, claiming what's rightfully yours. Because as far as I'm concerned, like, some people feel like that... And you like only feminines can like radiate the empress energy. Or only masculines can radiate the emperor energy. But like most people, if you're balanced, have a bit of both. All right. But I feel like you're starting to master this like emperor energy here. All right. And you're also like you're also getting a lot of justice here. But yeah, it does look like that this person has been overanalyzing. Overanalyzing and procrastinating. So instead of... Like, instead of actually seeking your energy out, they're trying to find it in other people. They're trying to see if other people can, like, imitate your vibration. I'm also like hearing imitate your spirit. In case we've got success again. You're so lucky you are very successful. Somebody is feeling very guilty here, but they're in denial over their guilt. They're not like they're not acknowledging their fear and replacing that fear. You know, with some type of insight or awareness. But yeah, like, they're feeling very guilty. There's some guilt here. And also, like, with this person's arms folded, you know, you might not actually be open to this person, or this person might not be open to you. Okay, so we've got focused on service. So somebody here is focused on service. It feels good when I help others. And this guilt card just says, release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul growth. This just confirms this card. You know that you've detached from anything that's not serving you great to good. So a lot of outdated mindsets are getting pushed out to you. But you do seem to be getting a lot of abundance. 
or you've just, you've got the ability to manifest abundance here. Yeah, like, they're thinking about you a lot. And apologies if I've said like too much. Honestly, I cannot stand it, but... But this person is definitely overanalyzing. And they're also trying to analyze other people to figure out like who has similar energy to you. But yeah, like your your hard work and wise investments will bring you success. So it does look like there's some success that's going to happen here. You will start getting some good news. Some investments are going to pay off. Your hard work is going to be recognized. It is going to be noticed. So just make sure you've got an open heart here. Yeah, open heart again. Literally just come out twice. And this shows some like king and queen energy. So there is some love that's blooming here. Some it's actually going to offer you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So while this person is trying to replace your energy, you're actually coming in contact with somebody that actually can offer you reciprocal energy. And this has just started to bloom. And it will be like very emotionally fulfilling. But you need to make choices by listening to your heart. And then following the steps that it's guiding you to take. Inner strength, angel numbers. So this person finds you to be very strong. Very strong will. You're a person that's got like a lot of great courage and kindness. But you might not realise just how strong and powerful you are. Because there's like a lot of problems that you're able to solve. So like you're a very good problem solver. But you do need to stand strong in your convictions. Successful completion. Yeah, so there's actually going to be a lot of accomplishments coming for you very soon. You could actually just be very experienced, very accomplished in something that you do. Because it is actually saying that you're justified in feeling joy and a sense of completion the pro and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you begin a new journey. Okay, so like, you're definitely blessed. You're a blessed person. And i just seen health. So it looks like that your health might be blessed as well. But you do need to reflect on some partnerships here. But yeah, like, there's a lot of talk here about accomplishment, about success, independence, contentment. So success has come out so many times here. So I'm not too sure who I'm speaking to, but there is something that you do that you are very accomplished at. And I'm also like hearing too, um, you know, like the best of the best.
the butterfly spreads your beautiful wings and flies. So you've gone through a lot of transformations. And I'm actually hearing too that this person knows like that there's levels to everything. But like in the category that you're in, the level that you're at is up the top. Alright, so it does not matter your age, whatever capacity that you're in. Like you're at the top of the you're at the top of the food chain. Okay, so people either accept it or they don't, but that's just what it is. It like it is what it is. And you've worked diligently for this. Because we've got status. So you've worked very hard to be at the top of your game and to be somebody that is recognized for actually being at the top of whatever position you're in in life. Scorpio, transformation, a lot of developments here. The wolf pack, connecting with your wolf pack, communication, Gemini, Scorpio, Gemini again, Capricorn. So I think that for each of you, that's going to be different. But for whatever, like for whatever it is, there's just a lot of talk here about success, accomplishment, skills, and like whatever you do, you're just at the top of that. Cancer, protect your integrity, Pisces, transformation against so like a lot of self development. A lot of transformation, Sagittarius, Libra, manifest your dreams. Alright, so it looks like I didn't actually shuffle these music cards properly. Okay, so the first song that we've got is Dark Horse. Yeah, so you've definitely been a dark horse here. Like, there are some things that people cannot see coming here. And it just says that karma is a dish, best served cold. Hopefully they enjoy the winter. So there is some type of karma that some people are going to get that's going to come in like very cold. Pills and potions, Nicki Minaj. Alright, so like, you don't actually wish, like, wish death on anyone. You just reflect on them. That's just a lyric from the song. Alanis Morissette, you ought to know. See, like, you're reminding people not to screw with you. Demi Lovato, confident. What's wrong with being confident? Lady Gaga, million reasons. Beyonce, irreplaceable. Taylor Swift, delicate. Taylor Swift, the last time. Natasha Benningfield, unwritten. Ariana Grande, seven rings. You get what you want. If you want it, you've got it. Maggie Lindemann, pretty girl. Tate McRae. Hate myself. The Jonas Brothers sucker. Yeah, so like this reading's been a little bit, you know, like different because there's been a lot more career stuff that's come out in this than I'm actually used to. But whoever this person is, they're like thinking about you, trying to replace your energy. Find, I'm actually doing like find people that match your energy. They will actually fall short. They will fall short. And that's just, that's like, that's not egotism. That's just the truth. Like, it is what it is. You know, no point tiptoeing around it. So like, whatever you offered this person or whatever this person offered you, this can like not be imitated. This cannot be replaced. But yeah, like, 
there is just a lot more career stuff than I'm used to. So, who, like, who, whoever this is for, this has been quite confusing for me, to be honest. Um, but you are very accomplished. So, like, if you're looking for any type of praise, you know, to, like, hear that you're good at what you do. Um, this is some, like, guidance here or some, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you're definitely very good at what you do. And this is why you are where you are today. Because you are you are very accomplished. And like it is what it is. People can, you know, try to twist things however they like. But the fact is an accomplished and experienced person, no matter what they do. As I said, there's levels to everything. Respect people's levels. But yeah, I feel like that's pretty much the message. Okay, but like people are recognizing your energy and you seem to be getting thought about quite a lot here. But I feel like that's pretty much it. So thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed and just send everybody lots of positivity. I'm healing and love and light.